Alrighty, well, morning, everybody. Um, well, a few days ago, um, I got a, I got on, I went on the Quora website. Uh, there was like a, I needed a answer to a question I had. I did a Google search and Quora was like the first one that came up, went on it. Uh, just out of habit, I logged in with my uh, Google account and I guess I'm now a member of, now a member of Quora. So, uh, what's been happening is, uh, Kind of like uh, kind of like Reddit, whenever somebody posts up a new article or whatever, uh, it shows up on my email feed. So now, one of the things that came up was uh, was uh, like, why does my why does my channel get no views or whatever? It's um, when uh, when I first started, I'm gonna kind of kind of go all, all over the place here, but when I first started my uh, YouTube my uh, YouTube channel, or when I first started creating content, like, eight years ago, um, I used to be on the, uh, the Twitch Reddit, like, fairly often, I almost did, like, a, like, a monthly, monthly eval, uh, monthly evaluation, um, but, uh, it kind of, it kind of tapered off over the years, though, it just, it felt like I was beating a dead horse, because you almost always got a, you almost always got a post of, why does nobody check out my channel? Type, you know, type questions. But again, it just, it got to where I felt like I was beating a dead horse. So, I just, uh, I did those kind of videos less and less. Because I just, I said all the things I wanted to say. So, well, um, fast forward to recently. Um, I got a, one of the articles, or one of the posts, I should say, that came up on my email feed was, uh, why does my channel get no views? And I figured since I haven't done one of these videos in a very, very long time, I figured, eh, I'm kind of overdue. So, uh, but before I continue, um, I am going to have some music going in the background. This is going to be Mystic Recluse, a day just for me. It's a, it's a genre called spa synth. It's just uh, laid back ambient music, just to have something playing in the background that's not too distracting. Medium player is frozen. There it goes. And then on the right, um, I've got um, I've got my uh, my my uh, my channel stats and stuff. It's um, just so to give people an idea of where I'm coming from. So I'm not to show that I'm not being I'm not being stupid or hypocritical or anything. But. Like I said, um, I used to do these kind of videos from time to time. Uh, commentary videos, just uh, commenting and reacting to them. Okay, sorry for the interruption, but um, somebody just uh, somebody just instant messaged me on Steam. Okay, I'll 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 talk to them later. Um, anyway, let's... Oh, his name's, uh, assuming that's his real name, Ben Kleszczynski. Large aspect, I have two channels. Over seven, over seven years old now, which I'll not name on here. I would, I would regularly get thousands upon thousands of views on my channel. Over 15k subs. It. This is starting to sound like some of the, uh, some of the other posts I've seen over the years. Lots of. I'm just a wee bit old tiny noob channel. I only have 75,000 subscribers. You know that kind of thing. You know I'm just. Whereas, you know, joint. You know, you think, you think you've got a bad, doing you know doing content for eight years and I think I only have like, like a hundred ish. Let me continue. Over the last five years, really changed the platform, which it's gotten to the point where unless you were trying to sell or target. Okay. Yeah, they've um YouTube's changed their uh, their algorithm. I know one thing is uh they have face recognition, so on your thumbnails, you have to put your own ugly mug 
on one side of the thumbnail and you have to you have to do some kind of extreme emotion like ah oh <gasps> you know you know and it, like it, basically you have to look like a twitter emote just some overblown facial expression in order to in order in order to help get you more views um and uh you also have to, and he said it here too your uh, videos have to be ad friendly but I think you have to be like a, a YouTube partner or something like that. So, but yeah, and here let me let me move along. The idea is that channels and videos will be pushed based on the tag system. Yeah, that's um, whenever I export or upload a video, um, it'll. When you when you post your tags, it'll say that tags have a minimal impact on views on your channel. But this was how it used to be back in the day. So that was so yeah. But like I said, it's it's different these days. Back in those days, you could fill your videos up with random tags. Yup. Yup. Um, I've seen a video or two. I've also seen a post or two over the years. This is exactly what happened. People would basically uh, spam tags when they're uploading or exporting videos just to an obscene amount. Even if they're completely unrelated. So, YouTube changed the waiting system to make tags practically a not factor yeah coming back to this again this is I mean again this this does this does get annoying because I hear this a lot oh I'm just a noob channel I only got 90,000 subs you know either either my content is beyond horrible as though that were possible or these guys really are buying their uh, buying their subs and I I'm gonna I'm gonna go kind of in the background again I haven't done these videos in a long time so I don't wanna I don't want to totally botch this up I'm gonna type down on Google buying YouTube. Oh, it looks like you can buy views too, apparently. So let's look that up. Yeah. Um And apparently it's legal. You can buy YouTube views as long as you ensure that the views you purchase are from genuine real people. Okay. About five million YouTube views. What happens when you actually buy? Them? But yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Like like I said, either either I've um, I've transcended shittiness and reached a reached a level of horribleness that not even Donald Trump or Adolf Hitler could attain or yeah these guys are a good chunk of the subs these guys have are bought and yeah I do remember now this is something that I have said on uh, on the, on other videos but yeah it's Okay, but yeah, but going back to, going back to this, yeah, back in the day, um, putting tags, tags in your videos, it had, it carried up, it carried a fair amount of weight, but again, because people were spamming them, they, um, YouTube, um, lowered the weight, or made, practically made them a non-factor. 
Yeah, but, um, I couldn't give you any exact channels, but this exists to this day. They're just, again, they're just doing it different. Again, they're probably still buying them, too. Yeah. And this is probably one of the reasons why I'm such a small, my channel is so extremely small. It's, um, no, none of my content is monetized. It's all Creative Commons free to use. Created an industry overnight called YouTube Ads. A lot of money will literally pay millions of dollars to advertising agencies, to buddy for search engine optimization. Yup. Yep, it's just like fishing. In order to catch the best fish, you have to use the right bait. But the problem is, everybody and their frickin' dog is doing the same thing. It's also one of the reasons why um, I don't very, very rarely do I ever watch a video that, you know, for like maybe a few minutes tops? Because the way, uh, the way people do their videos now, it's, it's fucking annoying. I had to use a, I got to use a browser add-on called Sponsor Block. Because it's bad enough that, um, they got to do that like and subscribe shit on all their videos. They have to do them in like inconspicuous places or you know like in the middle of the video like they couldn't do it at the start or at the very end they have to sneak them in in the like middle parts so this forces me to have to have to use a uh, sponsor block in order to put a stop to it or to you know block it and let other let other people that also use that add-on that's there I'm kind of, it feels like I'm kind of going off the subject or I'm talking about unrelated stuff, but you kind of get the idea though. Yeah, your videos will only get pushed if you allow YouTube to monetize your channel. And once again, uh, my channel is not monetized. So that's why the numbers are so extremely small. drive more views and nope nope like I said absolutely not yeah I won't do this back in the day um especially uh it's called Google AdSense they uh once they added that to YouTube it got frustrating as hell trying to watch a video cause uh a 15 second unskippable ad would appear at the start of it. I was the kind of person that I would just F5 the fuck out of the keyboard, just keep refreshing the thing over and over until I got an actual video with no ads on it at all. So yeah, because of that, I don't want to put somebody else through what I've gone through. So yeah, this is, again, my my channel's not monetized for, for this reason, or one of the biggest reasons. I can see this. It's also one of the reasons um, they were doing it back in the day. But nowadays, it's it's, fuck, it, it's a fucking plague. Like, people censoring their swear words. 
Which, okay, I kind of, I kind of get it. You know, but the problem, the problem I see with that is, is a lot of the people that are creating the content, they curse like sailors. They, they curse like fucking sailors, and then they just go back in post production, and they add, you know, beep sound effects or dolphin sound effects. That's something else I noticed too. Back in the day when they were censoring swear words, it was just beep. It was just, you know, they beeped over it. Now they're getting creative with the censoring. So yeah, the, it's 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 a recent it's a recent trend because the whole because the whole monetization demonet, demonetizing thing. Because again, back in the day, the only way the only way they uh they really censored swear words was the loud beep. But these days, they either just silence it. It's just silence, or again, uh, dolphin sounds. I could probably go on my soundboard. I'm on it right now. Yeah, I don't have any up uh, here. Let's. Sorry, I'm kind of going off the trail here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on my soundboard right now. There's a. Uh... Yeah, there's all kinds of um, there's all kinds of different ways to censor out the swear words, but it's basically it's basically uh, beside the point. Like kind of what I'm what I'm saying is, it's these um, uh, it's these guys, these um, uh, especially the content creators that have been around since the way back when, that were cussing up a storm, didn't censor their swear words. That's one of the reasons why, you know, why I liked them. They didn't censor themselves, but now it's gotten to a point where. They curse and swear like crazy, but then they go into post-production. Uh, I guess they they whip out the soundboard, or they do. They'll go into their video editing software, and they'll they'll add it. They'll add in that beep sound effect on every single one of their swear words, which I don't know if they realize this, but it makes their video sound like ass. I mean, some of these sound like a damn Morse code video. Morse code videos. Beep 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 beep. And that is something else too. I know uh, one example that definitely come definitely popped in my head. Um, playthroughs of the game of uh, I think God of War three. There's a fair amount of nudity on it. Uh, back in the day, like around the early to mid 2010s, nobody nobody blurred off the nudity. But uh, nowadays they do. I'll try. I tried watching a recent God of War three video about a year ago. Anytime there's nudity, there's this big old fucking blur right in the middle of the screen. You know, again, they're probably trying to avoid having their video demonetized. But now, but what ends up happening, it just makes their video look like shit. It also makes you look lame as hell. On one end, yeah, I understand why they do it, because they don't want their video demonetized. But again, I ain't, I'm sure as hell not going to subscribe to your channel now. But let me let me let me let me move on. I could probably spend all day talking about this history and politics. Politics often gets demonetized. No surprises there. Not bringing in any revenue. Algorithm no longer recommends my videos and even to my subscribers. Well, you're about to join the club, bud. Once again, my channel is not monetized, so. You could only imagine the abysmal stats that I have. Oh, looks like you are joining the club. I am lucky to get five views on a video today. But 
But on the other hand, um, the vast, the vast majority, the vast majority of my videos, that's about how many I get. Five. Once in a while, I'll get lucky and I'll have somewhere in the double digits. Yup. Yup. I am all too familiar with this. Discuss music history, technology, play actual songs. No, I found a I found a lot of Diamond in the Rough albums that um that YouTube doesn't uh, pick up on. Like I got a bunch of albums that won't get my uh, videos copyright claimed, and you don't have to go on the uh, audio library. I mean, hell, um, a lot of YouTube channels out there they upload them. They'll upload various albums on their uh, on their channels, and uh, YouTube doesn't recognize them. You, they're out there, man. You just got, you just got to know where to look. Um, I've never, the closest I ever got, again, I've been creating content for a little bit longer than he has. He's been doing it for around seven years. I've been doing it for around eight. Um, I've gotten probably a total of two or three takedown notices, but they were a uh, seven day takedown notices. They weren't like immediate. They weren't the most severe. So they're or copyright free music. At least as far as the uh, YouTube's copyright detection goes, they're out there. You just gotta look a little. But um, back to strikes, I think the. Uh, but again, I never gotten one. Um, the takedown notices that I got were uh, were actually me were actually me talking about the uh, the the background background videos that I was using for my cast videos I would actually get pretty critical of them like if they did something I didn't like I would say right on the video like hey I didn't like that hey man that's bullshit you know that kind of thing and I'd get a takedown notice because uh, he got they got offended so Ten grand on equipment in my studio over the last five to ten videos. I feel like I really dodged a bullet here. Cause my quality is ghetto as fuck. I got a cheap webcam, a cheap mic. I think I, the webcam cost me like 20, 30 bucks at Walmart. The microphone I use costs about 20 bucks. I think I got from uh, Amazon. This, The external speaker I got was like a $50 $50 miniature tube speaker I got at Walmart. Most of the equipment I got, I got from Walmart. So, I didn't spend a whole lot of money on this, but it seems again, he's spent almost 10 grand and he's only getting 5 to 10 views. So, I'm act not going to think about it. I'm actually getting, I'm kind of standing corrected on this. This is not a typical Nobody watches my channel type post that I, I see on a lot of others over the years. So. Okay, yeah. He's... So he's at, yeah, this, he's saying the same thing too. This is the same thing that I've been, uh, I've been, uh, watching, I've been, uh, checking out over the years as well. If you're not getting views, it means your content is low quality. 
buy a better mic, camera, editing, consistent uploading, etc. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of like this too. I couldn't give you any exact names, but... Quality channels and videos that have way more subscribers and views than they should. I'm not one of them. Yeah. They're all running their channels like a business. I've tried Patreon. I just... I can't get into it. I I can't remember the exact reasoning, but yeah, I... I made an account. Hadn't been on it since. Yeah, most... Yeah. It's all about the ad revenue now. is this? Well? Yeah, this is a long sucker. I thought this was just gonna be a simple, just a simple, like, short post or something, and then a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of people commenting on it. So I'll, since I'm here, I'll just go ahead and warp down to the bottom. Yeah, because I think I'm going over long in this video. It's already gone almost about a half an hour, so. I refuse to give YouTube money. Um, I'm already paying uh, 15 a month for YouTube Premium. And that was something else, too. Um, on one end, I kind of agree with the guy. I don't want to be giving YouTube any more money than I'm already giving them. But, you know, if they had a system where... If you paid, like, an annual subscription, like... Kind of like what uh, Twitch Prime has. If you paid, like, a hundred bucks a year just to toss a number out there... For unlimited usage... Of all the music that's on there without getting copyright claimed and all, fuck yeah, I'd go for it. I mean, I mean, on one end, I love the music collection I have now, cause most, cause nearly all of it, it it goes under uh, YouTube's uh, copyright detection software. But at the same time, it's some fucking awesome shit. So, you know, I mean, great music I've picked up over the years. Uh, but, you know, but on the other hand, you know, sometimes I just want to play some Frank Zappa, you know, sometimes whenever, um, whenever somebody on my stream says, who are the residents? I could just grab like their very first album, you know, play it for them, give an idea and just know that they're cringing like crazy on the other end, you know, without getting copyright claimed. I mean, I... I'd love for YouTube to have that kind of system. So, I get the monetization thing. To me, in and of itself, it isn't bad. YouTube's a business. You know, they gotta, you know, they're, they got, you know, they're trying to keep the lights on. But the way they're implementing it is pretty bad. You know, there's other ways of making money without kneecapping the little guys. I've optimized my channel and asked for donations and be told what I can. I like this too. I think I'll go out of my grave with this one.
Same thing. And there's something else here I said in the early part of the video. I don't want to put other people through what I've gone through. I mean, I don't want to do it to anybody else what's been done to me. So, yeah. And I... You know, and again, especially these days with the way... Um, with the way content creators do sponsors, like, they're not putting them at the very beginning or at the very end of the videos. They just plop them in some, some place, like, right in the middle. They try to sneak it in there. We'll accept that now. Same here. Same here, and I've said this in other videos, too. Um, would I love for uh, content creation to pay all my bills? Hell yeah, I would. But do I want to jump Do I want to jump through all the hoops to get there? Hell no. There's, like a, there's a whole lot of singing and dancing and dick sucking that you have to do in order for that to be possible. And I'm like, no thanks. I'll keep my job at Walmart, thank you very much. Same thing, yup. So yeah, I'm, I'm voting this guy. Because I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this kind of article. Again, I was just expecting like a, oh, what do I do? Nobody checks out my channel type complaint, you know, complaining posts that I see on so many others that, you know, over the years. For you to a lot of subscribe to services, I just said that, yeah. Like, being able to use any kind of music on YouTube without getting cop- without your videos getting copyright claimed. Um... Oh, I think there is a feature. I don't know exactly where it is. But you can, um, you can promote your videos. Um... I'll go ahead and go in the background. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up my videos. I'm gonna try to find that function. Okay, I'm here in one of my videos. seeing it. Let me back up. It was here. Okay, here it is. Oh, hell, this is a freaking tutorial. Okay, yeah, I, I, I don't have time to do it here, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at some of the comments, but I don't want, I don't want to spend any more time on this now. Shorts have ruined YouTube. I'm one of those. I can't stand them. I can't stand them. I'm one of the. I'm one of the rare. I'd rather watch a three or four minute video than to watch a short. Cause I'm also the kind of person that I like to sit on my couch and eat while watching videos. So shorts are too short. I mean, less than a minute. Personally, I think they should. Maybe they should classify shorts as something less than five minutes now. Not less than one minute. Okay, so that was the end of the album. I'm gonna... I'm gonna loop it back. Oh, and in, in case anyone was curious, Mystic Reckless, a day just for me. So it's just... laid back ambient music. Watch a three or four minute video, 
barely loyal subscribers, and I kind of said that um, in the early part of the video. I think a good, you know, whenever I hear somebody, oh my god, nobody checks out my channel. It's all, I only have 45,000 subscribers. I swear, they, they gotta be buying their subs. subscribers, bunch of spams and irregular viewers. Same here. Or I don't I don't have like zero views or zero impression, but this is also one of the reasons why um I gave up making cast videos. It wasn't just some kind of entitlement. Nobody nobody watches my stuff. It's just for even for just the ghetto content that I had, it would literally take me practically a full day to get it all set up and everything. All the visuals and whatnot. It just, I wasn't getting out of it what I was putting into it. And I kind of like this format, now that I think about it. But again, Quora was a website that I, I kept my distance from. Um... I think at the time, too, I don't think they had a dark mode. Which I prefer over, over the bright white mode. Um, plus, sometimes you'd go on here and you get an anti-ad blocker ad. I could probably make a whole video on that. Yeah, so... When I got that, I made it a point of avoiding Quora. Or not... Not, um... Not creating an account on there. Like I said, I... I'm a member of Quora, totally on accident. Sub for sub. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's kind of bad. Yeah. Bad idea there. But... But otherwise, um... Yeah, I already uploaded it, so... So... So, good job, Ben. Anyone that can surprise me like this gets my vote. So, but otherwise, um, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. I believe I've said all the things I wanted to say, so. But otherwise, thanks for, um, thanks for taking the time to watch this, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.